I am Sam Crow with Birdzilla.com. This is an introduction to our app, Shorebirds of the United States and Canada. It was co-authored by shorebird expert Kevin Carlson. It includes over 240 images of 50 different shorebird species. It can be used on the Apple iPad, the iPhone, and the iTouch. The information is appropriate for both novice and intermediate level birders. And if you're like me, getting beyond the intermediate level of shorebird identification can be quite a challenge. So this is a great app to have around. On the right hand side, you'll see a series of buttons or icons. The very first one is called Profiles. And the profiles are the heart of the app. And you scan, drag up and down to see images of each of the shorebird species. And in this case, for additional information, we're going to select the long billed aliture. Once the page loads, you can drag images back and forth. On the right hand side you'll see a range map, you can play the call of the bird, there's a little short checklist section that you can utilize, there's some introductory text, and there's a note section so you can record your personal notes about the species. On the top right there's a description button that loads additional information about the bird. This includes the bent life history. If you're connected to the internet you can go to Birdzilla and see additional information on the Birdzilla.com website and you can also replay the sound of the bird. On the top right there's a compare to button here then we'll come back to that in just a second. On the left hand side you can scroll up and down for information on habitat, diet, uh, vocalization tips, similar species and some nesting information. On the right hand side at the top you'll see a structural ID tips for the species. These were written by Kevin for all 50 different shorebird species. If you'll tap on an image, you'll see that it opens full scale. And across the top, you'll find descriptive information that Kevin has written about this particular image and this particular plumage of the bird. And that is the same on each of the images within the app. Now then, if we tap on this Compare To button, you'll see a page load with the prime image on the top left and a series of thumbnails on the right, on the bottom, excuse me. Tap on any of the thumbnails and they'll become the prime image. Double tap the prime image and they'll slide off the bottom of the screen. Now let's say we want to compare long bill dowitcher to mm, perhaps a short bill dowitcher. So we'll scroll over here. We'll pick the short bill short bill dowitcher. And when it comes up, you'll see an image that compares two races of the short build. We tap on that. We'll pull up our thumbnails. Then we'll select a single image. We'll get rid of the thumbnails. And now we can expand and rotate and study and compare these two different species and perhaps uh, pay a little more attention to the feather edging in this particular plumage. Now we can go back to the profile index. Again, scroll up and down, select a bird like the northern Hakana, and again see the same kind of information. If we go home, one of the other buttons, the second one is called the gallery. The gallery is just a series of images, all of the images in the app and you just drag across the bottom of the screen to select the image that you're interested in. Tap on the image, it shows up, and you can see it full scale and really enjoy and study the image. Uh, the next section is called Games, and the very first game is Identification by Image, and on the left hand side you'll see the names of six birds and you'll see three birds on the right. So we're going to drag a bird across and place it where we believe it's properly identified. Long bill curlew, sanderling over here. Then we're going to get immediate feedback as to which are correct and which are incorrect. In this case we got half of them right. So we're going to see if we can fix that by just dragging and dropping and swapping out images. Now we got them all right. We got a 50 point bonus and we're ready to go to the next question. We can also work on our identification by bird sound or voice. Hit the play button on the Brazilla jukebox. You'll hear a sound. You can try to select it. In this case, our feedback is that we missed it. It was a Dunlum. And we can continue to play the identification game based on sound. In that case, I got it right. All right, heading back to the home button. We have a comparison section that you just like the one we looked at previously. This just gives you direct access to it. Uh, birding by oppression is a technique used by many advanced birders. In this case, this introduction provides a series of grayscale images, and you'll be surprised at how well you can identify the bird just by its grayscale image. And if you tap on the image, it will show up in its color version. And let's see, where to see shorebirds? 
a short list of some of the top birding locations in the country for shorebirds, and we have 10 fun facts about shorebirds. And that's the heart of the app. Um, the iPhone version navigates a little bit differently for faster access on your iPhone when you're in the field. You'll get to the images and the sounds a little bit quicker that way. It is available uh, in the App Store for $5.99. You can see more information about it on our website at birdzilla.com. We hope you enjoy the app.